What's going on, guys? I could not wait to get my 3D printer up and going, so I didn't wait for Black Friday, if you saw the last video. It's here. I've had it for a couple days, and I've been printing, and I'm going to give you my thoughts on the first three days of owning a 3D printer. For one, you can see it right there, and it is currently running right now, printing up a giant, awesome mountain troll that's going to be huge. First off, let me know if I'm allowed to have a 3D printer running literally just outside of arm's reach. Is it that toxic? I don't know. It doesn't smell that bad. The resin I went with first is Soraya Tech Peach or Creamy, Creamy Soraya Tech, and it is the fast one. I have had no problems really with it yet as far as things I've read about problems with 3D printing, so I think I would recommend Soraya Tech Fast as your first resin. Because I have not changed settings on the printer. I haven't uh, adjusted layer heights or exposure times or whatever. I don't know anything about it. I don't want to know anything about it unless I have to. So a couple things I've been printing. I got some owl bears here. I started painting one. These are pretty cool. These are free files on uh, my mini factory, which is awesome. And then I got a giant troll here with covered in mushrooms. He's very similar to the AOS troll that is uh, the character. So he's about that size. The I forgot what he's called, like the Trogoff leader, character, whatever, hero. Um, I got, these are from, uh, the owl bears are free. These are from Print My Minis, the trolls. I got some minotaurs and goblins as well. And then this is a tribe I joined on my mini factory, uh, Great Grimoire. I got a hospital bed with a blanket over a dead body and a little clockwork uh, aristocrat guy. Uh, and I got a bunch more. I'm going to do a video once I finish this bottle and demonstrate how many miniatures I printed with my very first bottle of resin on my very first 3D printer. I'll have links to this in the printer below. If you want to check them out, they'll probably be on sale for Black Friday. I got this one for about $230 on Amazon. It was $250, and I had a $40 coupon. I don't know where that coupon came from. It just said $40 off applied at checkout coupon. So wherever that coupon came from, thanks for that. And uh, yeah, so it came out with tax about $236. I'm printing a bunch of stuff. I got more resin on the way. Uh, I'm going to stick with this resin for now, just because it's working well. If you see, and we'll get into it later in the video where I show everything I printed for one uh, bottle of resin, but I did miss a foot somehow. So he got one foot, but this one didn't print. So it's unfortunate. It's not the end of the world because you can just sculpt or make him like he's stepping in something. So I'm not too mad at that, and I'm glad the rest of it came out nice. But yeah, it is a bummer this one foot's missing. So I'll probably print him up again, probably print another one and see if I can get that foot to also print because it's a really cool model. So right now, the mountain troll, I mean, I think it's going to be big, like <laughs> pretty excited. Uh, it's been fun so far. The fumes, I believe that Soraya Tech fast resin is a low odor resin. So maybe that's why it's not bothering me as much, uh, but it is in the apartment, literally right behind where I work and paint and everything. So maybe that's not ideal. I have the black uh, poster board behind it just to help protect from any sun coming through that window in the morning that might, you know, cure the resin in the vat. I know that red case over top is blocks UV, but you never know. Uh, and yeah, that's about it. Also, it's pretty hot in here right now because I was, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona. I was hoping that it would cool down by now. Because with the printer, I'm planning on keeping a lot of windows open and whatnot. So I have windows open. I have that door cracked. And it means I don't have the air conditioner on, so it's like 85 in my apartment right now. So that's kind of warm for an apartment. But uh, it does cool down at night, luckily. And then it should be getting cool. I mean, we're halfway through November. So that's about it. Let me know if you have a 3D printer. What kind you got? What's your favorite tribe or Patreon? I'd definitely love to hear that. Uh... Have you felt it safe nearby? Any wooziness or whatever? Am I being uh, foolish printing in the house like this in the apartment? And uh, yeah, let me know what miniatures you like. And 
like I said, coming up, I'll do a video on every single miniature I get printed, uh, success or fail, with the first bottle of resin. So that'll be cool. You'll get an idea of what like a $35 bottle of resin will print. And yeah, it's a little side tip. Owl bears here. I've sold about four painted owl bears on eBay for let's say an average of 50 bucks a piece. So if you can print these out, and I think a WizKids owl bear now is about $10. These owl bears, I don't know how accurate it is, but I think it said they were like 60 cents or 70 cents worth of resin. I don't know if that includes the supports when they're printed or not, but uh, yeah, if you can print owl bears for 75 cents and paint them up and sell them for 50 bucks on eBay, you could quickly recover the cost of the printer. You only have to sell like five. So not too shabby. There you go. See you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, we'll definitely have some more 3D print related content on the way as I learn how to use the thing. Adios.